More than three years have passed since Colorado experienced its largest wildfire in state history, yet the Cameron Peak fire's impact remains, with its burn scar still very much visible. Some of the severely burned lands are starting to come back naturally on their own. Others aren't. A team of volunteers, four of them from Ayers, spent a recent Saturday giving one struggling area some human assistance, hoping to jumpstart its return as a forested ecosystem. So today we are out here in the Stringtown neighborhood in the Buckhorn area of the Big Thompson watershed. And this area especially uh, was one of the areas that saw some of the highest severity burn in the Cameron Peak fire. Uh, and so because this area had such high severity burn and because there was a lot of landowners um, who were affected and lost their homes and are not seeing their own lands recover, um, our goal is to help our lands recover, but also to help our communities recover. And so we're out here today um, with volunteers from Ayers and also community members. And uh, we have about 1200 seedlings that we are trying to plant this weekend. After a quick demo, the volunteers split into groups and got to work, eager to pitch in and do their part to help the land recover. I know you hear about the fires a lot and like see pictures or news articles, but it's definitely a different experience when you walk around here and see like the trees and the destruction. So I think having like hands on the ground, boots on the ground, trying to like be a part of the restoration effort just feels good. I wanted to get involved because our office does a lot of fire, post-fire recovery work, and I haven't been up here, so I really wanted to kind of contribute and see the site. I think it's always rewarding to get outside and actually contribute um, to something, to, I guess, a greater goal. Um, I think that's what makes it rewarding for me. Volunteers are a really critical piece of the work we do. Without volunteers, the amount of work that we would have been able to achieve over the last three years in our recovery efforts would have been greatly diminished. And so we're just really thankful for Ayers and for the volunteers that they provide and the great energy that they always bring out to the events. The work we do is highly impacting the community. It is for the community. So I think being out here, thinking about community, that's always what we have in mind when we're designing projects, when we're working with partners. It's just a part of what we do and who we are. Learn more about Ayers culture and commitment to community at airsassociates.com forward slash culture.